Hello, humans and non-humans alike, and good of replies to you. And today, we are back on Age of Wonders 3, where we are continuing our s assault against Gumbald, the probably possessed orc wiseman. Shaman, whatever they want to call him. I don't care, he's pissed me off more than enough. Let's see, what was I doing? Now we're moving up this way. We have two armies here. One army stationed here. Mm. We have a force here, but that's just because I saw them moving around this way. And we're praying Plague of Brigands, because that ability is surprisingly awesome. We have siege equipment hidden here for when we go after the capital. Okay, I think I, I remember the landscape now. Now the real question is, can we afford to leave a garrison here? A garrison led by our hero, no less. We don't have a lot of melee units, either. You aren't melee units, so... Wow, I just realized how few actual... ...frontline fighters we have in this army here. Which I guess is good for defending a city, not so good for taking a city. Still have buildings under construction. You don't even have melee units except unicorns. Uh, right, I stopped working on your construction so we could build up funds. And let's end turn for now. Alright, this place has been added into my empire, and it is populated by humans. Human priest, human cavalry, human civics guard. What are you? You're an irregular and a volunteer. Ooh! I think that's from a spell I had. I made a civics guard into my great dismay to lay a stone above his head with the very next day. For though he quickly captured all the hearts of his, this his maid, the armored... The only one who cut him down had a quicker blade. So how long must I don't don Widow's guard for a man who gave away his life for a feathered cap, a puffy coat, and just a little pay? Many lovers have made Merrigan, ballad by Willa Loveday, <laughs> Bard. <sighs> Basically, why the fuck didn't this dude wear some damn armor? You have wall climbing. You have shields, right? No, you don't have shields. Oh. That is an issue. I was kind of hoping for some... I was really hoping for some shielded units, but oh well. Not much I can do if they're not if they don't exist. Your infantry, right? Okay. In that case I want a halberd unit for this guy. Alright, maybe step off there because otherwise they'll automatically join you. We're gonna wait until those forces build up, and then we're gonna go in and attack this guy. And because I had the brigand spell prepared for when I got close to the city, I think I decided not to... Mm. Alright, in that 
case, uh, retreat back. Enter and fail. Oh, cool. Let's see. You built that. You have the barracks. You have... Pl yes, the Plague of Brigand spell is ready! Okay, and the Cloak and Dagger Fours have been research. Age of Deception. Uh, yeah, may as well. Alright, now I want you to move close enough that you can see the town, and then we'll cast a spell. <laughs> I love this shit. It's awesome. Alright, that should be enough to delay that until we can get some actual... You know, war going on over there. Right now we really can't, so now we're just going out. Mm. Yeah, why not? Let's research that. We have some stuff we need to wait for anyway. That should distract them long enough to keep them from making any significant moves against us. Wait, oh! Oh, they captured the town! I mean, that's kind of what we were hoping for. Uh... All of chivalry! Yeah, no, I, I really don't need you to have any... Alright, I want to build up a third force to go up there to join them. And then, once that force, they'll regroup with this. And then they'll begin taking that tent, the last one. And then we can move in on the central area. We won't be getting to this epic thing this time, this legendary joint this time, unfortunately. Shame, shame, shame. Hey, it's good enough for me. Trail running has been researched. Shadow form, combat spell. Fuses target friendly unit with the shadows and physical obstructions and attacks ineffective. What was that sound? Uh, produce Bard. Why not? Cast the spell. I kind of want to see what's going on. Alright. They're doing that. They're getting their halberdiers. Produce assassins. Building up your forces here, I see. Garzolk. Oh, they're starting to attack me now, huh? <laughs> you think I give a shit. A uh, nourishing meal is good for when you have a... Uh... Well, nourishing meal and natural healer... Friend animal could be good, but ah, uh, you're not gonna really get into any combat anytime soon, so let's just stick with nourishing meal and then up your hit points. Yeah, you've grown into a town. How lovely. Maybe a siege workshop. Uh, do they have halberds? And uh, you join up with them.
there's only one trebuchet with that unit, correct? Okay, so I want three more units in this army. Some of them should definitely be the, uh... Reduce assassin. All right, yeah, corrupted killers. Gumball's probably going to focus on retaking that settlement. So it should distract him from bothering me for a while. So I can afford to build up my forces instead. and finish out this research. Garzalk. They're always coming over to test our defenses, aren't they? Alright, so they've done the rogue's palace. Excellent. Uh, let's do the planner gate next. There are a few things I want to research first. Produce a siege workshop. That's very good. Hmm. I'm half tempted to just wait so we can build up another army here <laughs> to take that place. Alright, corrupted killers is researched, so that leads to. Alright, that for sure would lead to something else. Oh, wait, no, Shadow Stalker is there. Yeah, so we need that. That is sufficient. Yes. Wait, are you guys gonna attack or something? I mean, it'll be funny if you try, but... Yeah, I didn't think so. Call of Chivalry! Very useless. Uh, I wouldn't bother. Uh, it would have been nice if they had gotten some rain. That could have been nice. Maybe rush that one. Ah, we could produce that. Uh, he has disjunct my magics. Oh no. Alright, wait, what does this research do again? Enables production of shadow stalkers in cities with the planet gate. Also allows lots of shadow stalkers to evolve into shadow stalkers. And that turns into dark pact and all that. Wait, where did he. Oh! Well, shit. I wasn't expecting that. Uh. There. That should deter that. You have that here. You've produced a shrouded altar. Human scum. Human assassin. Uh, I thought one of you. Mm, I don't know. I have to wait for Dark Pack to show up. I think it did something special. Okay, you can just junk that. Actually, no, wait, no. Stick with. Just make some scoundrels here. Okay, this guy's just wandering around my territory to piss me off, isn't he? And we haven't fought anything yet, so may as well. Plus, it's just probable victory, not guaranteed victory. We can't afford for him to go to an undefended town. 
Even if he gets first bite at the apple now. And he pulls out... Wait, did he just... Okay, for a second I thought he killed all those units. I'm like, no! Got a range penalty. You guys can't really hit far now, can you? Yeah, those are orc shock troopers. They're not going to be easy to deal with here. I really wanted to kill them before they could do anything significant, but it looks like at this point these guys are gonna heal them and then we're gonna have to stop burning things! I mean, I can't really speak. I'm dropping poisonous blades in the sky, but still! Toadstool fairies are not very powerful. I don't care. Your job is mostly to just keep them occupied until I can drop poisonous blades. <laughs> Alright, do I need to drop poison blades on them this time? I don't think so. Nope! Yay! We won! You lost a batch of toadstool fairies, though. This is a succubus. Throw curses, seduce, and melee strike. Attempt to control target enemy units. Can only be used once per battle. True sight, flying, magic glory. And they're completely protected against things. They're actually pretty tough. I think I want to fill up the rest of your ranks with Civic Guard. Maybe one succubus. And that's good enough for you, so... Enter! You produce a scoundrel. Excellent. Okay, next in queue is the succubus, and does he look queer? Mm. I might also want another trebuchet, along with some more units, but I'd like to do my research first. Result. Okay, no, that's that. Uh, who's not making anything? You're not making anything. Seek knowledge. Yeah, do what you can to reduce our research time. Yes. Ah, he just jumped at that. Okay. It's alright, we can live with that. Uh, I... I don't want to mess with the thing. Oh wait, we have a thousand bucks. Shit, no. Oh, make, make something of the city, damn it. Alright, 
Alright, Shadow Stalker has been researched. All your bars says like Shadow Shadow Stalker team plus one plus advantage and new powers, but cost 25% more upkeep. Oh. Okay. Uh, that's a little bit extreme for me. I think I may have to pass on that. Oh! Oh no, it was building them infinitely! Oh. Well, that's an issue. It evolves! Alright, well... Let me look at the assassins... ...for a bit. Oh no, those are shit. Holy shit! What the fuck are you? I think we can exit that out. And one I Elf Assassin. Do you evolve? No? Okay. In that case just uh get two scoundrels there. And resource wise we're good. So once this finishes up here. Search breakthrough! Yes! Garzalk, they're still getting invasions. Alright, this army's all set. Forgive me, I like to be a bit more prepared. There, do that. And you have produced more scoundrels. What am I going to do with all these scoundrels? Hmm. I guess keep them stationed in these places, because... Yeah. We keep having some pe They keep trying to break through with, like, small forces. Through that teleport thing, probably. Shadow form. Select new research. And still disjunction... Cloak and dagger seems like the best option here as far as. Alright. Go this way. You go there as well. Alright, it joined up as one unit. Okay. Yeah, you know maybe take one of these out and instead put in an assassin. There you go, do that. You produce storehouse, you have this, you have that, and oh. Never mind. We're now running very low on the monies. Okay, do that. Infinitely, please. Okay, and once this force here finishes up, then we'll have them join up here. Enter. Okay. Now, once they finish and join up here, we will... Have the entire army move up to begin the assault. And spells. Let's get some more of these going because these bastards disjunct some of my damn spells here. Reinforce this shit! Yay, 
Jeff finished researching. That's the city, that's a metropolis. They got their observatory. Alright, let's begin moving up. Huh, they haven't really built up their forces at all. That's surprising. I'm pretty sure we could just crush these guys. Literal crush. Very likely. Okay, we're gonna auto combat. And if anybody dies, it is proof of how bullshit auto combat is. Ah! We had a death! What did I tell you? Complete and utter bullshit! There is no physical way anyone in that army should have died. It should have been absolute victory. Where do I see the spells that I have activated? I'm sure nobody disjunct that. Let's see. Attacking player. Okay, well that's kind of pointless. Uh, where do I see my active spells? you come from? Oh well. Uh, I probably tamed you or something with the succubus, so... Alright, then we attack this. That'll take one turn to regroup there. Close. Where do I see the spells that I have active? No, that's Diplomacy Menu. That's Tome of Wonders. Overview. Okay, here we go. Active Spells. Reinforce. Yeah, try taking this shit on! Jackass. Very likely victory. We see what you do with very likely victory. So we're gonna manual this. We're gonna have to manual every single damn piece of combat in this game. Unless we automatically know we're gonna lose. Because this shit will just make everybody die. For nothing. I don't want to lose troops for nothing. Ranged units, get ready. Wait, do you guys have wall uh, climbing? Or yes, you do. You should also have wall climbing. Indeed, you do. And you guys can fly. All right, ranged units. Go forward! Human priest. The civics god. Longbowman. The monster hunters. You 
Yeah, rogues definitely favor irregular troops. The fairies. Faye's gonna stomp your asses out! Storm sister, storm sister. Due to all the uh, reinforcements. I don't have any magic available for this. Oh, you're actually coming out to fight. Okay. Uh, four. Two. This is how they make us do it. This is how they do it. Oh, they can't even retaliate against this. Okay. <clears throat> Shit, go for it. Yeah, that would have caused a death on our side. That's how bullshit this auto combat is. Uh, migrate to humans, else. Oh, there's an orc metropolis. Absorb. Why not? You go here. It is a shrine. Alright, uh, Rexar. Yeah, Rescar. Uh, close enough. Anyway, why don't you go up here? The rest of the forces shall begin moving immediately. Your goal is to get to here and join our... Trebuchet. We need to move them so they're actually grouped up close enough together. Anyway, uh, you're fine. You weren't. You definitely don't need to worry about building anything. He'll stay stationed there for obvious reasons. Liberate the pool of origin. There's an artifact egg there. Alright. First, we are going to assault this city. And dead. Uh, it has grown into a metropolis. It's 
nice. This is a temple. Uh, maybe just have you on seek knowledge. You're already on seek knowledge. What about you? Seek knowledge. We can afford the losses and the monies. For once. Question is, do I go to the pool of origins first or do I stay here and just take this city? Let's look, see, what are our objectives? Risk or survive and liberate the pool of origins. Uh, dismiss it. We are in no need of caves. Alright. Okay, he's gonna have the full support of everything in here. Or the garrison in here, at least. Hmm. Oh no, I made mistakes. With the positioning. Okay, mistake is corrected. I know this is stupid because this gives them an extra full stack, walls, and everything else, but at the same time, I kind of want to have an epic battle. So, yeah, we're taking the city like this. Unfortunately, Reskar couldn't be here to join us, also because, uh,. Closely matched. Manual combat. <laughs> I probably should have saved before actually moving them into position. I just realized that would have been a lot smarter. Oh well. Touched by an angel. Oh, that thing is ranged. That's not nice. Okay, let's see. Best course of action. Begin moving this thing towards the center thing here. It'll probably get destroyed. Uh, you don't have a weakness to holy, do you? You don't. Yay! I want you to go over and kill this thing. Oh, it has a hundred health. Uh, send some assassins with you. I want this squad to focus on the Shrine of Smiting. I want you guys to be focusing on the main gate here. And I'm not sure if I should even bother with this secondary gate, but since we have people over here, uh, all you civics guards have... Do you have wall climbing? No, you do not. Alright, you're cheap. Okay, you guys will be going for the gate then.
Yep, just have him charge right to the gate. And I guess have the human priest here back the mob. And at the same time, I'll see if I can... Why do you have such little movement? You have wings. Fly a little. Okay. Uh, I guess you'll also be going this way. There's those humans there. And the main force here will be focusing on this gate. We need to spread our forces a bit, because if we don't, then they'll just all group up on this one gate here, and that'll be annoying. Luckily, they don't seem to have many ranged units, although they do have some. They can also break a cup of some mind control. Does Evangelist have any range techniques? They do not, but they can heal. So if we're gonna take on any units here... Oh, you have almost no range, guys, except this one thing here and that thing of smiting. <laughs> ah, idiots. Okay. In that case, we can be a tad bit more forward. However, Gambog will definitely be throwing out spells if he has any available. And he has the full suite! That's fine, we weren't really expecting much less. Alright, I don't know if we'll have a future battle, so I kind of need you guys long range too. Alright, you guys, I may teleport all of you guys just behind the enemy lines to soak up some of the damage. Okay, wait a second. Is anybody in range to do any damage? I think those civics guards were... Yeah, here we go. Alright, uh... Line of sight? Shit, that's some heavy penalties. Oh, leave it. No point in doing that little bit of damage. Oh! It laughed! Expecting that. Oh, shit. I was expecting them to stay back. If I killed them, then a bunch of their units become more die more easily. <laughs> it's very stupid on their part. Alright, you guys want to be idiots. That's fine with me. Machine? Uh, mechanic. You do. Tree sabotage. Well, they're not becoming lesser or anything. Well, they were stupid, so we got to take out their shrine. Uh, 
Damn, if we were a little bit closer, we could have teleported on their walls and blasted them. It would have been one of those talk about irony. Alright, you definitely can't reach. Uh, let's stick with that. Okay, these civic guard guys are definitely going to die horribly. Okay, maybe you guys move here. There you go. Why were, do I have such low movement before? Weird. Hi. Huh. I see if I can do a little bit more damage there. Okay. Aim for the Black Knights! <laughs> These guys were kind of being idiots. Attacking the walls is kind of pointless here. Quick dash, holy gear. Speed of targets. Long-range teleport really are nice. Plus, no offense, but if you nightshade guys die, I don't really mind too much. <laughs> okay, yeah, you already moved this turn. Yeah, those are shock troopers. They're gonna do more damage to you than you do to them. Let's give you some assistance! Monster Slayers, get in there and kill a Hellhound. <laughs> Do you wanna go, man? <laughs> oh, by the way, the Monster Slayers probably aren't gonna live past this battle now. Yep, their flanks are exposed to a ranged unit on a wall. A hero, and they got more infantry back there. Breach the walls. Well, I would love to assist them in combat, so just get right up in there. That would be bad. Oh no, wait, I forgot I gotta right click. Eh, six, six, this button. Ow. Well, start pulling out the poison blades then. I don't know 
what happened. They fell down and died. Yep, I didn't think the monster would live through this. Goodbye, Monster Hunters. You've served us well. Oh, they resisted? Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Alright, kill them then. I mean, you saw that they had a 70% chance to kill them. I mean, to seduce them. Wanna heal the civic scarred now. Yeah, see that's why I thought they'd do more damage, because uh Okay, yeah no, those guys will kill you if you try that. Line of sight penalty. There we go, that fixes that. I figured he was going to hide behind the walls. Eh, start taking down that one. That's why we brought a battering ram! Oh no, I should have gone up there! Then I could have gotten them from above! Oh, that was the good one. Surrounded it too much. Okay, they can't reach. Meaning, you guys go and kill this one. So I need you guys to move up and start dealing damage to these guys. We'll aim for you first. They are now bereft of ranged units. We can begin moving. Let's make some waste of turn healing. Maybe. Not exactly sure that's what they'll spend that turn doing, but. We can help. They get yeah, uh, stores. You know what? Save that. Alright, let's end turn. Where are you going to plot? Oh, you're going up to the walls, huh? Ah, oh, damn, those evangelists hurt. Pay 
dude. Oh wow, there is still a swordsman surviving. Alright, tear down that wall! Oh cool, we no longer have line of sight penalties on everybody. Yay! Hello Evangelist, meet Succubus. Succubus, meet Evangelist. <laughs> Literal arch nemesis! Yay, for irony! Er, wait, would that be irony? I have no clue. Anyway, try to kill this guy. Yes! Finally, strange to think the sacred place has spawned so much bloodshed. Rescar's ready to perform its ritual to submerge the radiant egg into the pool now that Gamblag is dealt with. They say gazing into it may offer a vision. I might take a peek before we have to evacuate this veil. Perhaps I will see Thanos one last time. And we have completely annihilated them. Apparently that counts as liberating the Pool of Origins. Oh! Oh shit, no, I didn't mean to click the campaign, no! There's no way back. Thanos is dead. Oh my poor, dear, foolish brother. I should have kept you safe from traitors. I knew the greed of these lords. But now is not the time to mourn. I now know the heart of my enemy, this commonwealth. They will desecrate anything to fuel their appetite to expand. Ruled by mortal men with short lives, how can they value life when death is their destiny? Before departing, I took Reskar to the Pool of Origins. He has a draconian artifact called the Radiant Egg. He bathed the egg in the mystic waters and began speaking of prophecy and restoring the trust of dragons so his people can find a homeland. There was much I did not understand, but the egg now glows like the sun. As I was there, I gazed into the Pool of Origins. I've never been one to believe in visions or prophecies, but as the ripples cleared, I saw something. And that is all the time we have for this episode. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you like, want to comment, subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter for channel updates, pictures of dogs and cats, and whatever else I decide to put up there. So goodbye, humans and non-humans alike, and good whatever applies to you. We wonder what she saw. You will find out next time. <laughs>